Hi friends, it's Julia and today I am here with my Out With The Old and Layout Share for my February 2021 Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit. Now I did show you a wrap up at the first of the, at the first of March, I think it was around the first of March, of my layouts that I created during February when this kit came out for my uh, seven day series that I did. But for this, this has everything. I had done the Counterfeit Kit Challenge series with Christie's Beautiful Life, and there were 30 days of sketches. So for the last 10 days, I used this in combination with another kit from April of 2020 to create the last 10 pages. So I can't count all 10 of those in here with this kit as being solely from this kit, but I'm going to count five of those because I use such uh, a good amount of product from that, from this kit to create those layouts. I mix the, the, the components on every layout, all the embellishments and things. I mixed it on all 10 of those last 10 layouts, but I'm only going to count five towards this kit because I counted the other five towards the April 2020 kit. So five with this one, seven with the uh, original series. So that gives me 12 layouts from this kit. Now this kit was based on the scrapbook Workstat in Germany. Uh, the kit itself, I don't know the name if it was called scrapbook Workstat, but I think that was the name of the company. It was their February 2021 kit. So what do I have left over as far as paper and cut aparts and that kind of thing goes? this right here <laughs> you can see there's some cut aparts there some pieces that i have punched out all sorts of scraps uh yeah i really i abuse this kit so much i use so much up uh as far as embellishments go uh this was a piece that i had pulled in it's an old felicity jane puffy sticker with hearts and it was in the original kit and I pulled it in because I had it in my stash and so I used quite a few of those in here. Uh, I had pulled in the Lindsay ephemera to go with this because I didn't have any further Lindsay paper so I pulled in the ephemera bits that I had and I used a ton of that. Uh, of the I used a ton of the pocket page cards but I still had some in here. I have an ephemera pack that had 44 pieces and I have two left that's it. Two. I used every other thing. I have two pieces left. So this will go into my random uh, little bits and pieces of Felicity Jane. And I'll throw the packaging away. These are hearts from Lindsay. These are epoxy hearts and I used a ton of those. I had two of the alphabets and I did use a ton of the first set here. But I, I did not get into this pack at all. So these will go into my alphabet stash. Products from Freckled Fawn, I had added in this kit from January 2020. Uh, it had enamel stickers and I used a ton of those. It had this wood veneer from 2020. I didn't scrap any 2020 pages, so I didn't use this. These are the label stickers and y'all, I used every single one off this pack. There's none left. So this will go right into the trash. Washi strips, I used nearly one full page. I have a partial and two full stickers. And then I have a second full sheet. And I did use a ton of these alphas. And I think I have two or three sheets in here. So that will go back into my stash. I don't think it will go back in as a kit. But it will go back into my freckled fawn stash. I added in a second freckled fawn kit with these from May of 2019. It has three sets of this yellow alphabet, and you can see I've used up nearly that entire front sheet. Uh, I have multiple sheets of this uh, washi. I think there are four sheets of washi stickers in here. This one has the most abuse to it, and uh, there's two, three stickers gone. Four stickers gone from this one. I've used bits and pieces off of all of them with the exception of one, I think. Uh, the label stickers, I had two label stickers from um, May of 2019 and I used one entirely up and I used most of, well, I say most, one, two, three, four, five, six of this sheet. And then the enamel hearts, I used a bunch of, but I still have quite a few. 
And there's the little girl that I stamped out to color that. We'll go into my kids' drawer to, uh, they can color that. These are the floral stickers. All of these in the front pack I had pulled out to use in the kit, and these in the back I did not. So I used a good portion of these. I pulled in washi tapes, and I used all of the washi tapes that I pulled in with this kit. I pull in these sequins, and I can tell you I think I used them once. Here's another Lindsay embellishment. They were foam stickers. I used the entire pack of those. This set from Cheeky Studio uh, had some leftover bits and pieces in it, and I used a, most of what was here. I still have the flowers and then these hearts and a star and the bows. So, yeah. I used over half the pack of these candy bonbon heart stickers. I used quite a few of the Stampin' Up! candy dots. I used everything but the cacti that was available to use from these two sticker sheets. I used a ton of stickers from this sheet and a ton of stickers from this sheet. So my paper packs that I had it added in the Echo Park, uh, oh, what was it called? Hello Again and Dearest. Uh, I used both the paper packs because all I have left of those two are scraps. So, yeah, I feel like this kit is completely killed. Let me show you the layouts. I will wrap up the layouts again for you. And some of this stuff will go back into my stash, and some of it will go into a do not want bin. Some of it will go into the scraps. You know how that goes. So just, I'll run through these real quick. This is the first layout that I created, and I used February 2020 and February 2021 sketches from Page Maps to complete these layouts. And I do have a process for each one on my uh, February 2021 playlist. So there's the first one. This is layout number two. Those are those big flowers I was able to get used. And I love that I was able to fussy cut the branding strip, the title from the branding strip, to use there. This is layout number three. And you can see as I go along, uh, the embellishments are getting, they're, they're getting more embellished, they're getting more detailed. This one, because the title kind of blended in with the background paper, I took an ink pen and just added some little, um, almost doodly bits onto it, highlights onto it, to make it stand out a little bit more against that background paper. Lots of label stickers. Love how this one came together. That was the fifth one. This one is a six one, and I love using this super large pattern as my background, and then the smaller one here behind the photos to kind of highlight those photos from that bold background. But because uh, she was dressed as a bumblebee, I thought the flowers would work really well on this layout. I love how they turned out. I did pull in some border punches as I was creating these layouts. This is layout number seven. Yeah, and then so going on to my Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches layouts, you will see a conglomeration, if you will, a mix of the April 2020 and the February 2021 kits as I go through here. This was my layout number 21. And if you go back to my uh, hashtag 30DSCBL7 playlist, you will find processes for each of these. I love this one in that I used up all the rub-ons. I think that was, most of them were from my April 2021 kit. But you can see there's a lot of embellishments here from the uh, February kit. This was number 23. Love how these turned out. This is number 24. And like I said, about half of these I am going to include on uh, my February 2021 
list of having done and then the other half I will count on my April 2020 kit that I have done. Oh, I love this one where I'm able to use all these scrap papers. Love, love, love how that turned out. This is number 27. Love being able to use layouts that are scraps heavy. You know, where you're not having to cut into new paper at every single layout. You're able to use a ton of scraps. And I love using these big flowers. Flip and love them. I love how it turned out. This is layout number 29. More of those big flowers. I just love it. I love that big flower background. And this is layout number 30. I love that I was able to use the little Lindsay die cut that came with the collection. Yeah, so that's everything that I have created from my February 2021 Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit. I appreciate you guys being here and being steadfast and waiting for me to post this video. Um, and I appreciate you guys so much. And I hope these videos inspire you to get into your stash and to create something beautiful with them. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the next layout. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.